Settings the Astro 30 here with a brand new video and a brand new desk which is a lot bigger than the one that I was using before. Anyway that's a that's another story. Today I want to test the oscilloscope that's at the top left of frame there whether or not that the measurement that you can get on the screen is inverted or not. In other words does it show the inversion of say a inverting op amp compared to when measuring the signal going into the input like is it going to be 180 degrees out of phase I'm hoping it will be so here's my test circuit uh, we've got a signal generator here and TP1 test point one so one of the oscilloscope probes probes at this point goes through a 100 nanofarad capacitor it's not really relevant what capacitor it goes through because I just need one there um, and it was the first one I could find to hand that then goes into a 10k input resistor into the inverting input of any standard op amp and you'll see that the uh, non-inverting input is tied via this voltage divider of these 200 k resistors between positive 15 volt and negative so we're getting the halfway voltage biasing point so that the op amp will function correctly we've got a 10k feedback resistor so this inverting stage gives us a gain of minus unity in other words a gain of one or minus one then the output goes through a 10 microfarad capacitor to tp2 test point two which is the other oscilloscope probe on the second channel and i've got the test circuit built up there on a piece of breadboard that is just convenient as per the uh, drawing that I showed you in the last clip. So I've already got the power supply preset to 15 volt or close to it, 14.8 I think it is. So I'll turn the supply on. And bingo, huh, dead on 15 volt too. Isn't that nice? But as we can see from the waveform, the blue trace is test point two or the output. And the yellow trace is just measuring what's coming in from the signal generator at the input. As we can see, it is 180 degrees out of phase with the input. So yes, the oscilloscope does show inversion, which is very nice and good because the uh, little oscilloscope doesn't show you what phase the uh, signal's at, so you have no idea if it's 180 out, 180 out with whatever's going in. So it makes it kind of an annoying tool to use. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the well the type now it doesn't like on the inverting output being a square wave but then again it may be clipping uh, slightly on the op amp there because it is putting uh, 2.5 volt roughly peak to peak in if we go through all the rest of the waveforms, we can see that this triangular or sawtooth, I think it is sawtooth, uh, what does it say for the type? Doesn't tell me. Oh, sawtooth, yep. Um, we can see that it is inverted. And the same with uh, another sawtooth wave. That's a step waveform that's also inverted. That's a half. It's a half wave, half wave. That's a full wave um, exponent. But as we can see, with all the different type of uh, input signals, it is inverting its output to um, match the input, if that made sense. So that's just random noise. Back to sine wave. So as we can see, this scope perfectly shows uh, the output inverted as one would expect. So yes, for the price I pay for this oscilloscope, it's pretty good. Um, the only thing is, what's coming out is a little bit less than what's going in. It's 2.44 volt peak to peak going out and 2.52 volt peak to peak going in. So it's not exactly one to one. Um, that could be due to component tolerances like the input resistor maybe. 9k and the feedback resistor may be 10k or 11k or vice versa you know so those components have about a 1% tolerance on them so it's either plus minus or 1% of the actual value so it's either 10k dead on 
9k, sometimes I've measured them at 8, or it's like 11k or 11.5k. But it's usually always lower than it is higher. It's rarely have I ever measured them above 10k. The more likely always measure below 10k. Okay, so that's my little experiment with this oscilloscope for the day. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it wasn't really a, a video worth making, and I wasn't going to, but I, I just thought it was interesting just to find out what the test equipment can actually do. So now that I know that I can measure an inverted waveform uh, compared to its input, then I know whether or not, um, without having to really look at the circuit, whether I'm measuring on an op amp, whether it's inverted or not inverted, if if you if you get my drift. So anyway, about this desk that I've got here now, it's 750 millimeters deep. It's I believe like two and a bit meters long, and, and the height's irrelevant because it's adjustable. Um, I paid 20 bucks for it yesterday from uh, a gum tree sale from an office which I thought was nice. It was actually $20 because it came as a deal because there was two of them and we ended up buying two of them, me and my housemate. Uh, and originally the price for one of these was 40, but he said, oh, I'll do your deal if you're gonna take both 60 bucks for the, for the pair. And we said, sure, why not? So yeah, that's how I ended up with that for 20 bucks. And it's uh, taking up a fair size of the room but it actually is a lot bigger, which means I can do a lot more work here without having to move stuff. Uh, the oscilloscope can be a permanent resident of the desk now. By the way, I found a Samsung phone charger, which is at two amps to power the uh, oscilloscope off of rather than using that convoluted, horrible, bloody um, adapter. So yeah, I'm happy with uh, this desk and also happy with the oscilloscope uh, is actually showing inversions, which is good. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here because, well, it's gone on long enough for just a short little demonstration video. So anyway, if you enjoyed it, please remember to go down below and rate, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Anyway, this is Astro 30 saying see ya. Have a great day.